News 4 Jax has learned this. Jacksonville photographer is now accused of molesting a teen and getting her pregnant. That was Edwin Armstrong. He goes by Edwin Anthony. He pleaded not guilty to the charges. The police report says the person he's accused of abusing was between 12 and 18 years old. News for Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker joining us live after looking through the arrest report. Marilyn, you actually spoke with Armstrong on the phone today. I did. He didn't want to give us a comment or answer if he was going to continue operating in his photography business. We do want to warn our viewers, the details that come from this report are incredibly disturbing and it may be hard for some people to hear them. It started with a suicide threat. 911, what is your emergency? On September 30th, the woman called 911. She told them this man, Edwin Armstrong, was depressed and making suicidal statements. Then the woman told police, she got a text from someone she knew saying Armstrong has been raping her since December. The victim is a girl between 12 and 18 years old. She says Armstrong made her take two pregnancy tests two days before police got involved. Both tests were positive and reports say Armstrong told her to keep it a secret and act like someone else was the unborn child's father. The report redacts the connection between the woman who called police, the victim and Armstrong. But when police responded, Armstrong and the victim were inside the same house. Other kids were there as well. When the victim talked to police, she said it all started in December 2021. Reports say he would come into her bedroom at night and touch her. She would be asleep and wake up with him on top of her. According to the victim, the last time he sexually assaulted her was in August at his photography studio on Main Street. She told police it happened twice a week since February. At one point, the report says Armstrong's mother came to the residence to talk with him. He told his mother he doesn't deserve to live for what he's done and kept saying he knows better than that and he knows he messed up. He posted to Facebook saying he's been fighting demons and they got the best of him. During the arrest, police say Armstrong said he did not understand his rights and then he asked for a lawyer. Now, reports say Armstrong had a gun during all of this, and he made multiple suicidal statements. He was released from jail in October and can't have a gun or be in contact with the witness or victim in this case. In that report, we also saw that there was a mention of a 2018 case where he was investigated for molestation. We also found out that that case involved a child as well. Police interviewed him but did not arrest him. That case hasn't been clear, and it's just unclear right now why he wasn't arrested. So coming up tonight on News for Jax at 6, we're going to let you know what's next in his case. And we're also speaking with folks in the community who have worked with Armstrong. Not only are they feeling for the victims and Armstrong in this case, they're hoping that Armstrong gets the help that he needs. Reporting live tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.